A Stuart 504 boiler live steam test, part 27. A steam test of the 504 boiler after accurately setting the burner and I am checking the safety valve and fittings under steam. The 501 boilers were tested in exactly the same way. The first job is to fill the boiler with water. I'm using a special funnel with quite a loose threaded fitting to let the air out as the water goes in. I've also opened the steam valve to let the air out. If you don't do this, then the funnel fills up to the top and overflows. I don't need a lot of gas pressure with this Bix burner for this boiler, and I'm currently using a canister that's almost empty. On this nearly empty gas canister, I'm opening the gas valve slightly more than I normally would do. It's really important with new gas canisters to not open the valve very far. These Bix burners are different to some other ceramic burners. They do not need to glow red. In fact, it's a disadvantage. They can burn out. In the instruction sheet with these Bix burners, it does say that you need a lot of little blue triangles. That is the ideal. For this particular burner, the jet holder is almost all the way into the Venturi. On the burners fitted to the 501 boilers, the jet is slightly further out. Once I found the optimum position for the gas jet to give the small blue triangles, I marked it using a felt tip pen. This is not special water. It's just some ordinary tap water which I put in this bottle to make it easy to fill the boiler. You can of course use deionized water or distilled water, but I don't think it's worth the expense, because it's easy enough to use a commercial kettle descaler like Kilrock K, which is what I use. This will dissolve the lime scale and allow you to wash it away. I've already done this on all three of these boilers, which are part of the three steam plants. The clicks that you're hearing on the soundtrack is just the noise that the bottle makes if you squeeze it. For this steam test, I don't want to fill the boiler right to the top. I'll fill it halfway, because I don't need this boiler to be in steam for very long, nor do I need it to supply any steam to an engine. I just want to be able to set the safety valve and check for leaks on the fittings. I think I put a couple of bottlefuls into the boiler and that filled the water gauge to about halfway. Each of the bottles holds half a litre. And here you can see where the water is in the water gauge. Not quite halfway up, but it will be fine for the test. Time to turn on the gas and light the burner. On the safety valves for each of the boilers in these three steam plants are fitted silicone o-rings. It makes it very quick and easy to fit the safety valves. They only need to be finger tight to seal. The first thing I noticed was once I'd lit the burner, quite a lot of heat immediately came out of the chimney. This means that the burner is working efficiently and in no time at all the shell of the boiler started to get warm. So the burner's working quite efficiently, and it is not glowing red. The check valve is not connected to any pipe work, and there's a bit of a drip coming from it. That's because currently there isn't any steam pressure to hold the stainless steel ball on the seat. I tried poking the ball with the scriber to seat it, but that didn't work. So I put a piece of silicone rubber tubing on the end of it and piped it away to a container. Currently, there isn't any pressure showing on the gauge. But in no time at all, the pressure gauge started to rise and I detected a leak from around the pressure gauge siphon. This is really due to the fact that I forgot to fit any washers to it. After the steam test, I fitted the required washers and the leak disappeared. These are the gas canisters that I use. I buy them in multi-packs because they're cheaper. This one is almost empty, the other one is full. The pressure in a full tank is far greater than in an empty tank. And the gas valve is literally just cracked open. And there's plenty of heat, as you can see in no time at all, it's blowing off at just under 60 pounds per square inch. And as with the air test, the Stuart safety valve is making the usual horrible noise. You can change them for different makes of safety valves, but they're still going to make a bit of noise when they blow off. The pressure drops from 60 pounds per square inch down to 50, and that should be fine. If I turn up the gas at all, it immediately shoots back up to 60 psi and starts blowing off again. But don't forget, when it's in service, it will be supplying steam to an engine. And for a Stuart Victoria, you really don't need much pressure. 
The steam is only leaking from the steam tap because I haven't fully tightened it. The safety valve isn't blowing off. And that's it for the steam test. It's successful. The safety valve's set to the right pressure. Stay safe, stay healthy. Thanks for watching and I hope you found it useful. Please take the time to visit my main steam models website and click on the section of the website that says video playlists. And by doing that you can find other videos that you may like to watch. And by using the playlists you can actually watch the videos back to back.